we're going to we'll just have a quick scan. Look, um, we haven't had we've been very busy, so we haven't had a great heap of time to do the form. And I don't do form for Mooney Valley meetings. As in, I, I look at them and I obviously know what the horses are and I work on them, but I don't do form as in I'm going to have a bet for Mooney Valley because yep. I don't like betting at Mooney Valley other than Cox Plate Day. Yep. Sorry, Mr. Auto Ego. Um, but that's just the way I am. Um, in the first, the Sporting Bet Plates, 1,200 metres. There's two horses here that I take particular interest in. They being Gold Rory and General Life. Uh, from yeah. the Peter Snowden stable. Now, these two lightly raced horses both resumed, well, one of them, Gold Rory, made its debut, General Life resumed at the Provincials, and they trounced their opposition. I noticed uh, with mm. interest that Mark Riley, the trainer of Gold Rory, made comment uh, after the horse? race that this horse beat Australia in a gallop. Now, leading into it, and that was also Australia leading into his close second behind Switzerland. That would suggest to me Gold Rory's a pretty good horse, especially the way he won the race. But these two horses are both entered in the Patnak Farm Classic, mm. the Group 1 Wait for Age race down on the last day of the carnival. Now, OK, it's probably a throw at the stumps, which, fair enough, but Peter Snowden generally doesn't throw them at the stumps like that. Mm. Um, so I think that's got to be respected, and obviously Gold Rory's a good horse. Big watch on those two. I think they'll, they'll definitely be in the finish. Outside of that, uh, I think buffering's great value in the Moyer Stakes. Yep. Okay, uh, 270 around for it. I think that's just an unreal price about him. Green Bird, he's not up to this. Atomic Force was playing last start. Thank God you're here now down with the the trainers that you know master with horses with bad feet and the like. And yeah, he's a good horse, but 1200 first up the valley's not for me. Ready to rip Tiger Tees, yes. I heard Tiger Tees. Yeah, well, I don't want to. This be is wait for age, him. but I know I know Buffering's a proven horse, but Tiger T's times out there at Warwick Farm the other week were very first very start good. at Melbourne way of going. Yeah, Buffering's been there, done it. He's at wait for age. He's the best way to horse. What I about Elite Falls? Ran second in an Oakley Plate first up with fifty two kilos. Yeah, that's a different ball game to this. Uh, what beat it? Uh, Warren. Your God mate. bless his soul. Your mate Robbie E. K. Down oh. the outside. Big worm. I was on the Elite Falls at 60. Ah, uh, yes. That was sad to see you roll over there and be upset about that. And we didn't have a cent on the Quinella. Would have. Oh, no. Mate, we could have brought bucks. RaceNet for that Quinella. Yeah. <laughs> now, listen, there's a good thing in the Stutt Stakes, Piero. Yeah. He'll be hard to beat. Yeah. Yeah, just take and then, place in and then look, in the JRA Cup in the last, we were tipping Fruling yeah. last week. They, they elected to wait for the JRA Cup. You got to bet up here. Barrier two. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> go for your life. But I it's won't be taking nice. part. Yeah. You won't be taking part? There you go. No. No, the hell's it? Don't bet there. Just want to make one point. Yes. There, was, there was an article that I actually wrote yesterday, and yes. it was about the sporting bet and centre bet. They had a twenty-five and twenty thousand dollars on Piero yeah. um, for the Cox Plate. And one of the guys sort of said, oh, the smart shoppers are getting in early because if he wins on Friday, it proves he can handle Mooney Valley. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm going to go against that. I don't think that's right. I thought about it last night in bed, same thing. Obviously, are you I'm one of those blokes too. writing in? Because yeah, yeah. there's plenty right no, there no. giving it to them. Over really? It. Yeah, I, haven't, oh, yeah. I haven't seen oh, yeah. the comments. But I just think that really... The punters order, don't like boogies. They just give it to them. It's well, good fun. In order for his price to really firm up much more, he has to put a massive space on these horses. I mean, if he comes out and wins by two or three lengths, which is probably what he will do, I don't think his price is really going to firm up. Well, if it does, I think it's an overreaction because he's a dollar fifteen. Like he, he should beat these got this lot up, and oh, yeah, you know, exactly. you know, big deal. Like if he wins this race on Friday, big deal. Who cares? What if he comes out and beats him? But see, he's not the sort of horse that's going to beat him by eight. That's not. No, that's he, loves not a, he, loves a, he loves a fight, doesn't he? Yeah, so, it's, it's interesting reading all the comments from you know the. General public regarding <coughs> Piero's Cox Plate credentials. Yeah, you know, they, most of them you just say, "Oh yeah, heard that before." Heard that. There was one there that, one there <laughs> that made comment about, "Let's see how good he is when the pressure goes on at the six hundred in the Cox Plate." Oh. Well, let me tell you one thing. The one thing that I don't concern myself with this horse is getting into a fight because I've said it before. I've never seen a horse pin his ears yep. back the way this bloke does. Yeah, he has got. Mongrel written yeah. all over him. He is just an A-grade mongrel. Reality is, we don't know how good this horse is yet. We actually don't. We know he's very, very good, but he could be something... He might not run 2,000, but his pedigree says he does. He but does. the Lonros, as a rule, yeah. don't. They don't. Yeah. So Lonro himself couldn't win the race. He had two cracks. 
He might be better than Lonro this horse. He might be. All right, and we'll quickly go through. Sunday, Caulfield. Now, we'll just do the Rupert Clark here. Yep. All right. Yep. Rupert Clark. Uh, okay. Pinwheel, seven bucks. We're going to rock 550. <clears throat> Smoke and Joey, 15. 650, Salsa Nitsen. Shanghai Warrior, 11. Moment of Change, favourite, 360. How? Mm. Can't believe that. Anyway, um, that's the 113. That's the one. That's the one. That's the on. one have, for have, me. Because you like this. Oh, I like this horse. I like yeah. this horse. Jeez, I like him. There is a good race in this horse. Might be on Saturday. I hope it's Saturday. I took the 13 Sunday. bucks. Sunday. Um, good alley. Craig Williams. No weight. Um, wish it was at Flemington rather than Caulfield. But he's a very, very, very good horse, this. And his first up run was a cracker. I'm sticking with Solzhenitsyn, I take your point. Um, I think you make a really good point with that's the one. Um, but I'm sticking with Solzhenitsyn. I just thought, he's run first up, like, I know he only beat Bold Glance. He's, he's a good horse, he's there's good no risk, he's a good horse. But if you just watch that race, like he was no chance of reeling that horse in. And to do that first up, and this is a horse who gets better into his campaign. He's not a horse that typically fires that well first up mm. and second up. So I wouldn't even, I'd be surprised, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he actually goes ahead again after this and he's going to be right there in he from that draw he's going to get a good run and yeah i just and i oh, look i'm happy to take six dollars fifty on him what about smoke and joey he wasn't oh, bad first up fifteen dollars he's yeah. going to get up and hurt everyone one day yeah he will he's, <laughs> he's, he's he needs to be in the bill richie last week that um i reckon moment of change is massive under the odds here Centennial Park, gee whiz, hasn't he had a busy spring? You know, like pinwheel seven bucks. Yeah, like, I know, but he's just, he's just, he just when he gets it. into these white handicaps now with these big weights, he's going to run a genuine race, but he's going to run fourth or fifth or sixth. Yeah. That's it. I think the handicap has got the better of him. You know, the end's closer than the start, and yeah. he's a wonderful horse. Um, we're going to rock was excellent first up. I would have thought he'd be mm. favourite, but... Uh, same. Anyway. I thought he'd be favourite too. I'm pretty keen on that one, but I like this horse. I've got a lot of time for him. I reckon he's a beauty. So best bets, Melbourne for me. Furling. Oh, Thirteen dollars each way, me all day. That's Have the one. Have we got one. a price on Furling yet? Oh, probably is a price, but um, okay. I haven't looked at them. I can look at them now for you if you really would like me to. Do, do you guys mind holding on for a quick second while we just check this price? By the time we get this to air, after we have. Um, computer problems and everything else, the price will have probably gone anyway, Nicky boy. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, sugar. Uh, okay, is that it? Yeah, Fruling is at $6. Good price. Jesus. There you go. There Mate, you go. That. There you go. Oh. Barrier 2 at Mooney Valley. So I can get in back in and... Uh... That's it. We'll see you next week.